In this video, we are going to learn how to migrate data from a local SQL Server database to a Azure SQL database. So after we deploy an application and we generate the schema of the database in Azure, we may want to also copy the data from our local database. For example, here we have this table which has this data and if we go to Azure, Let's go to portal.azure.com and we go to our SQL database. Let me click on here and I will click on query editor and I will put my password here. I will paste this and I'll click on OK. I will have this query editor here and I can say something like select from genres. I'll say run and as you can see we have zero rows which means that we don't have any data in our Azure SQL database. So what I will do is that I will generate a script that contains all of the data of this table and I will use that script to insert the data in Azure. So let's do that. Let me right click on the database, tasks, generate scripts, and here I have two options. I can generate all of the data of all of the tables of my database or I can select a specific tables. For example, I can open this up and I can select genres here. Let me select it here and I can select other tables if I want to, but in my case, I will only select genres. So let me click on next and now I will click on advanced and I will come down here because I need to make two changes. The first one is to not use database. So let me put this as false and then type of data to a script I will choose data only because by default what this generates is a schema but I only want the data. So let me click on OK and then click on here, save to new query window so that we are going to get the script in a new window. Now let me click on next, next again and finish and here we have the script that we want to run in our SQL database so I will copy it and then I will come back here to Google Chrome and I will select here new query so that here I can paste this and I can click on run and then this will be done and now I can go to the query one window and I can click on run one more time and now as you can see we have all of the data here in our SQL database. If you like this video please make sure to subscribe to my channel and let me know what you want me to cover next. Thanks.